Here I have 3.6 solving a 3 by 3 system of linear equations problem type 2. So the same rules apply as type 1. First step is to use two equations to eliminate a variable, then use the third one that you didn't use in the first step, plus one of the other ones to eliminate the same variable, solve the resulting system, and then plug the answer back into the original to get um, the um, all three of the variables, okay? So but here it's a little bit tricky because there are variables um, already missing. So what you could do is just look at that and see which one seems like it's reasonable to uh, eliminate a variable. So I see X and X here. So I could use these two to eliminate X. I see a Y and a Y here. So I could use these two to eliminate a Y. Um, or I could use Z, this one and this one, to eliminate the Z. Now if I do the Y, I'm going to have to multiply this equation by a negative 3. So I get negative 3Y and positive 3Y. Or if I choose to do the Z's, they're already opposite signs. I just need to multiply the top one by 4 to make it positive 4Z. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take equation 1 and equation 3, and I'm going to eliminate Z. So when I do that, I'm going to multiply this top one by a 4. So I get 8x plus 4z equal to negative 20. And the third equation is 3y minus 4z equal to negative 6. Now the z's will cancel, but these do not combine. It's just a positive 8x and a positive 3y equal to a negative 26. Now the cool thing about this is, is I really don't have to do the second step, which is to take equation two and one of these guys to eliminate the same variable. Why don't I need to do that step? Because this equation already has that same variable um, eliminated. So that means I skip that step. This is my system. The equation that I found by eliminating Z in the top and the bottom equations and then the second equation itself is already good to go. And then solving this system, I would have to multiply the bottom equation by a negative 3, giving me negative 9x, negative 3y, and a positive 30. And then I'm just going to rewrite the second one underneath. Plus 3y equals negative 26. And then that would give me negative 1x, those would cancel, and I would have 4 positive. And then if I divide both sides by negative 1, I get that x equals negative 4. And so I can plug that into either one of these equations. I'm going to use the one I have in the box. So I'm going to get 3 times negative 4 plus y equals negative 10. That's negative 12 plus y equals negative 10. If I add 12 over, that's positive y equal to positive 2. Then I can take one or both of these and plug it into one of the originals to find z. I like the top equation because if you notice, z doesn't have a number in front, which means I won't have to divide later. So I'm going to use the top equation. Notice that in the top equation, there's no y's, so I do not have to plug in this number. The only number I need to plug in is x. So 2 times the x value we found plus z equal to negative 5. That's negative 8 plus z equal to negative 5. And then if I add 8 over, I get a positive z equal to a positive 3. And then how do we write our final answer? It needs to be the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and then the z coordinate. So negative 4, 2, and 3 is the final answer.